what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video i just want to say thank you to everyone uh that uh sent their you know condolences to me and my family over the recent passing of my grandmother i really do appreciate y'all there were so many messages on instagram twitter and on youtube uh i wasn't able to read all of them but i tried to as much as i possibly could i really do thank you um thank y'all for just sending love to the family uh, people that I do know that reached out people that I don't know that reached out I really do appreciate that and it, it means a lot to me and uh, my family and you know I know my grandmother would have definitely appreciated it as well so thank y'all so much for just showing love it, it meant the world to me and my family uh, but I definitely wanted to kind of get a chance to recap what happened on monday night raw because i did uh see some of what what went down so i was like you know what i want to record and you know kind of get my thoughts and opinions since this is the go home show or well, this you know the go home show uh for monday night raw for bash in berlin so i wanted to you know kind of talk about it because there were some things on here that i definitely felt like is worth to mention first and foremost they uh started off the show with um the new judgment day talking down on damian priest and and rhea ripley and then uh ray mysterio and the rest of lwo came out there to confront dominic and they had an impromptu match and once again with the help of Liv, uh dominic ends up pinning ray mysterio for the second time so uh dominic has two wins over ray mysterio with the help of Liv. and then uh they started to pack up ray and the rest of lwo and that's when the Terra Twins arrived and uh, Rhea Ripley and um, Damian Priest, they started wreaking havoc. But once again, Liv, Finn Balor, and Dominic were able to get out of harm's way. And I love that they're teasing that, that they haven't really gotten their hands on them yet. They keep being able to, you know, get it out the way or someone saves them before catching the beatings like getting hit with their finishing move or whatever the case because uh before it came out there dominic was about to hit a frog splash to his father on the from the ring post to the announce table so he's about to pack up his dad for real so they came out there saved the day and i like that uh once again finn balor Liv and Dominic, they're up at the top of the ramp trying to, you know, get away. And the people that take the punishment is JD and um <clears throat> Carlito. So they're they're still teasing that, and hopefully we get more of that uh for their the tag team match at Bash in Berlin. I'm looking forward to it. it. Should be a good time, so I can't wait to see how that plays out. But enjoyable segment. This crowd was definitely hot too from the clips that I had seen or whatnot. Um so the crowd was pretty electric and the, the atmosphere was pretty dope. And I'm, I'm loving what they're doing with the Judgment Day stuff. Now, we got to talk about what they're doing with Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed has become, honestly, one of my favorite parts of Monday Night Raw now. Bronson Reed was going against uh, Braun Strowman. And before they had the match... Um, Miz was, you know, talking about him being in the triple threat match to see who's going to be uh, going to the fatal four way match to see who's going to be the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship against Braun Breaker. And he's talking about, you know, he gets a chance to, you know, uh, win the Intercontinental Championship again. And that's when Bronson Reed came up there and was like, look, once I'm done with Braun Strowman. I'm going to make sure I come back and finish the job with you. So he's he's a menacing guy. They're having a match. It's a back and forth contest. Eventually, uh, Bronson Reed says, screw this, starts walking to the back. Braun Strowman said, nah, we ain't ending it like that. I'm not finished with you yet. They start brawling in the backstage area. This actually was cool to see because you rarely see wrestlers nowadays brawl in the backstage area especially like all the way to the parking lot you know it's not a common thing but when you do see it it seems special and this was one of those situations there were some cars laid out there Braun Strowman ended up choking uh, Bronson Reed on the hood of one of the cars and it got to a point where uh, Bronson Reed ended up picking up a steel pipe and started beating the hell out of uh, Braun Strowman with it. Had him laying on across the hood of the car. Bronson Reed goes up to this little ledge 
above the car and hits a tsunami while Braun Strowman is laying on the hood of the car, busted out all the windows, had some sparks coming from the car. Cool visual, crowd chanting, holy shit. I was like, holy shit. That was such a tough ass visual. The hood of the car was crumpled in, the glass exploded everywhere. It was a dope, dope <clears throat> visual. We come back from commercial break. You know, Braun selling, I can't feel my hands. You know, he needs medical help. They had officials out there. And <clears throat> Michael Cole said, Braun, uh, Bronson Reed didn't want any medical attention. He walked off on his own. He didn't want no medical attention while Braun Strowman was packed up and needed some medical help. Bronson Reed said, nah, I'm good. They have, he is now becoming one of the best things on Monday Night Raw. For the past few weeks, this guy has looked like a monster and has been presented like one. And this wasn't even a situation where anyone took the pin, but he looked, he came out stronger in the end because, I mean, the dude squashed someone on a hood of a car and walked away. Oh, this is good. This is good. They're doing the same thing they did with uh, Braun Breaker. There's a whole lot of Brauns in this situation. But they're doing the same thing what they did with Braun Breaker where he was just destroying people. Like, I mean, he packed up Ricochet, threw him through a windshield, and now he's in AEW. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they're doing the same thing there. And now they're they're building up Bronson Reed. He's becoming a, a fan favorite. People want to see him destroy people. I love what they're doing with Bronson Reed. They got something here. He's becoming one of the best parts of Monday Night Raw, becoming one of my favorite parts of the show because you know he's going to crash out and fuck somebody up. I fucking love it. So good. Very entertaining stuff. We also got to talk about the Drew McIntyre promo. And this was really, really fun and creative of how they had CM Punk uh, attack Drew. So Drew's essentially talking like, look, CM Punk, he he just doesn't know when to quit. And it's the fans' fault. It's y'all fault because y'all got him thinking he can hang with me. And now he has he's willingly wanting to have a strap match with me. Like, I don't get it. Like, it's y'all fault. So every time I hit him with the strap, with the, you know, with the strap as we're restrained and he gets welts and bruises, it's going to be all on y'all. And it was just, it was such a good heel promo from uh, from Drew McIntyre. But the entire time, CM Punk's under the ring. In fact, he was on Instagram Live listening to fucking Drew talk his shit. And he was under the ring the entire time. That shit was funny. His music hit. He goes up top. He starts attacking him with the belt, uh, the strap. But then Drew gets the upper hand. He's about to attack him. But then uh, CM Punk flips him over onto the announce table. Then he starts whooping him like a government mule, start beating him up. And then that's when security gets out there and tries to separate him. And Drew hightails it out of there. No words were needed to be said. Everything was shown that we're, what what to expect um, Saturday at Bash in Berlin. This was, like I said, this was funny. It was it was hilarious. The fact that he was live streaming on Instagram Live while Drew was talking shit, put the phone down and went to handle business, didn't to pick it back up. That was great, man. I can't wait to see this match. This match is is it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun, and uh, it's easily the best feud on WWE television right now so damn good and the last thing i want to talk about is uncle howdy having his uh match debut of uh, bo dallas <clears throat> against um against chad gable man and this was this was such a uh it was a good moment because you know uh recently uh it was uh the recent passing of bray wyatt not too long ago um like the anniversary the one year anniversary so to see him go out there and kill it the crowd was into it and uh it was a solid match uncle howdy ended up winning of as a lot of us expected and uh it was a, it was a beautiful moment i will say this chad gable sells the sister abigail the best <laughs> he's it's like he gets he plants his head into the mat such a beautiful sell chad gable you be killing it with the selling of the sister abigail but uh uncle howdy ends up winning 
and the crowd was really into this match and it was dope to see this and uh i think i seen some a footage after the cameras went off he pointed as he's walking up the ramp he pointed up to the air you know uh, essentially you know saying hey this is for you uh, bro you know this is for you bray and uh it, it's just a beautiful moment man and to see bray's legacy still being you know you know shown to us storytelling and ideas being shown on television uh it's a beautiful thing so uh i don't know where they're gonna go with uh the wide six i don't know if they're gonna continue feuding with american made or whatnot we'll see but uh it was a good moment good way to end off the show and like i said i was able to you know catch up on some of the things um because i love wrestling and wrestling helps me kind of you know escape from you know the everyday struggles and what i'm maybe dealing with i can watch wrestling sit back and enjoy the show and that's exactly what i did here so definitely wanted to make this video so that way i can kind of you know at least give y'all opinions on what i thought happened on this week's show um we should be doing um the smackdown live stream later on this week also bash in berlin um and uh, i do plan on doing my thoughts and opinions uh, not my thoughts and opinions my preview and prediction video uh most likely i'm thinking on thursday so stay tuned i usually go live for that and you know we can have a discussion there so but yeah comment down below let me know did y'all enjoy the go home show of raw this week let me know down below and once again thank you to everyone that was sending uh condolences and love it really does mean a lot to me and the family and uh i'm gonna continue to you know do the best i can to make my grandmother proud but i love y'all and i catch y'all on the next one peace